there's an idea. It comes out in a lot of reviews of my work, actually. The one thing that tends to get the most negative lightning bolts is rhyme. And I think it's because rhyme is very audible and it's very visible. And because a lot of reviewers don't really understand how it works, they think maybe that I've written this poem and then I've rhymed it. But in fact, I couldn't have gotten to that poem without the rhyme. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't exist otherwise. It's not like I versified an argument or a thought. I mean, you could do that, but that I think is not really what is exciting about rhyme, which is really about giving up control, um, you know, allowing your subconscious some play, giving yourself permission to say things maybe you wouldn't if it didn't rhyme. You know, rhyme is the reason in that case. There are even some very basic rules with rhyming that will help you immediately for all the rhymesters out there. Rhyme across parts of speech. Like if you have a poem and it's rhyming cat, hat, and mat, the problem isn't that, you know, you're writing a Dr. Seuss poem. The problem is your syntax. You're, you keep landing on a, on a noun in the same place in the line. So if you think about rhyming across parts of speech, rhyme monosyllabic words with polysyllabic words. Rhyme general concepts with specifics. I mean, that you're trying to put energy into the system because if you've got rhymes that are too equal, it's just going to stop everything in its tracks. It's just going to be, the poem will become constipated. So you want, you want energy and movement. And so you need inequality, imbalance to keep the energy in the system. Perhaps I should read, um, I'll read pencil next. Shall I do that one? Sure. Um, so there, I, I also love poems about just everyday objects. I mean, it's that feeling of some suddenly looking at an object and feeling that it's strange, even though it's an everyday kind of thing. Maybe that's another lockdown effect, even though that's written before this. So this is just called Pencil. Once you loved permanence, indelible. You'd sink your thoughts in a black well and called the error ink. And then you crossed it out. You canceled as you went, but you craved permanence and honored the intent. Perfection was a blot that could not be undone. You honored what was not, and it was legion. And you were sure, so sure, but now you cannot stay sure. You turn the point around and honor the erasure. Rubber stubs the page, the heart a stiletto of lead, and all that was black and white is in between instead. I'll, sc I'll scratch, I'll sketch, I'll note, I'll tentative, I'll tensile line that is not broken but pauses with the pencil and all choice multiple, the quiz that gives no quarter and time, the other implement that sharpens and grows shorter. And that was pencil from Like 